Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Oh, two subscribe buttons, three subscribe buttons. Okay, yeah, uh, that's a lot, that's a lot. In the United States, knives make up 10% of homicide weapons, while in Europe, they account for 43%. In fact, in the UK, crimes involving knives have been on the rise over the last few years. So, what happens to your body when you get stabbed? First off, due to the inevitable blood loss, your circulatory system may struggle to work properly, resulting in a lack of oxygen to important organs like the heart and brain. When you lose one-fifth or more of your body's blood supply, you will experience a condition known as hypovolemic or hemorrhagic shock. This causes a whole bunch of unpleasant symptoms. Your body stops circulation to the skin, making it pale, cold, and clammy. Your heart will speed up in an attempt to pull in blood and oxygen, which pulls it away from the stomach, making you feel thirsty or sick. And as your brain continues to lack sufficient oxygen, you may begin to feel dizzy or confused. Hypovolemic shock can lead to hypothermia, organ damage, heart attack, gangrene, and death. But your outcome will vary largely depending on how much blood you lose, how fast you lose it, and where you were injured. For example, a stab wound in a major artery or vein will cause you to lose blood very fast. In just three or four minutes, you could lose 40% of your blood volume. Losing any more than that is considered fatal. A 2016 study on trauma cases in urban Germany found that penetrating injuries, the most common of which were stabbings, mainly occurred in the head, chest, and abdomen, you know, where all your vital organs are located. Of these patients, 20% experienced hypovolemic shock, and 10% died. Stab wounds are also very common in trauma centers in the United States, occurring three times more often than gunshot wounds, though those are less fatal. In 2004, there were about 2,000 homicides in which the person was cut or pierced, and about 11,600 homicides from a gunshot. Treatment of stab wounds begins with the application of pressure to the wound. This is to stop or lessen the amount of blood loss. Once at the hospital, your doctor will determine how severe your injury is and whether it requires surgery. If you were stabbed in your abdomen, you may get a CT scan or even an exploratory surgery called a laparotomy to see what was injured, though there is still some debate over whether surgery is necessary for patients who are stable. Some doctors are developing an algorithm to help determine the optimal treatment of abdominal stab wounds. After your doctor sews you up and gives you any needed blood transfusion, fluids, or antibiotics, and sends you on your way, you'll have to take good care of your wound to ensure sure it heals properly. More severe injuries will require follow-up appointments to make sure it doesn't become infected. And if an organ was injured, you may need to see a specialist. Most stabbings aren't fatal, and with proper care, over time, your wounds will heal. Have any other questions for us that you want answered? Let us know in the comment section below and your question could be chosen for a future video. Go ahead, ask away. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.